Tututukan ng Maharlika Investment Corporation ang pagpapalago sa mga sektor ng agrikultura, transportasyon at turismo. Iginitri ng korporasyon na sisiguruhin nila ang mga responsabling opisyal ang mamamahala rito. May report si Kenneth Pasyente, Rise and Shine Kenneth. Kasunod ng kanyang pagkakatalaga bilang president at CEO ng Maharlika Investment Corporation na siyang mamamahala ng Maharlika Investment Fund, inilatag ni Rafael Consing Jr. ang plano ng MIC para maayos na magamit ang Sovereign Wealth Fund ng bansa ayon kay Consing sa pag-arangkada ng MIF na target bago matapos ang taon, tututukan nito ang pagpapalago sa apat na sektor kabilang na ang tourism infrastructure kung saan nakapaloob ang 197 infrastructure flagship project ng kasalukasyon ang administrasyon, gayon din ang pag-modernize ng ilang paliparan at pagsasaayos ng transportasyon para maisulong ang tourism destination ng bansa na malaki ang epekto sa ekonomiya. Really, what you want to be able to do is to enhance the, and, and to reintroduce basically the, um, the uh, tourism proposition of the Philippines. And uh, the main objective, putting it in very simple terms, is to get the tourist from where it's originating to its destination as soon as possible time. And when we talk about that, we're talking about really physical connectivity. Isa rin sa tututukan ng MIC ang agro-urbanism o pagpapalakas ng agrikultura sa bansa at pagtiyak ng kapakanan ng mga magsasaka na isa rin sa prioridad ng pamahalaan. Gayon din ang agriculture at urban development at pagbuo ng ecosystem para sa local food production. But in terms of agriculture, uh, specifically, um, that was the other idea that I had was basically consolidating lands that are currently, that have been fractionalized over generations. Okay? When the Comprehensive Agrarian Reform uh, was passed, uh, pardon me, was implemented um, in the late 80s, uh, farmers had about five hectares per, per farmer. And because of generational fractionalization, it's now down to about 0.8. It's actually done two things. It's not only reduced the amount of land per farmer, it similarly reduced the amount of productivity by roughly about 17% according to studies, whereas all our neighbors' productivity have all risen. So what we'd like to do is to be able to consolidate those and redevelop them and then go to agro-industrial investors coming from abroad. Kasama rin sa sektor na ipaprioridad ng MIF ang energy security at digital infrastructure. Siniguro naman ni Consing na sisikapin ng MIC na mapalago ang MIF mula sa inisyal na pondo nitong 75 billion pesos sa pamamagitan ng panghihikayat ng mga investor. At para matiyak na nasa mabuting kamay ang kauna-unahang sovereign wealth fund ng bansa, titiyakin ng MIC na mga responsableng individual ang magiging opisyal nito. If you will hire a world class professional and management team hired on the basis of what they call three eyes. Integrity, intelligence, and initiative in that order. Second is we will ensure that we will initiate rigor, instill rigor rather. That means putting in place or establishing a process that's going to be consistently applied over all investment opportunities in order for us to get to the investment decision. Uh, investment decision. And third is transparency and governance. Pinabulaanan din ni Consing na mas pinadali ang requirements ng PCEO ng MIC sa ilalim ng revised IRR ng MIF para makuha niya ang posisyon. Sabi niya, nag-apply siya para rito at nagsumite ng requirement bago ang deadline noong September 25. Binigyang diin din niya na pinawalang bisa na ang mga umanoy kasong nakabinbin laban sa kanya na lumutang ilang araw matapos ang pagtatalaga sa kanya sa MIC. Kenneth Pasyente, para sa Morning Show ng Bayan, Rise and Shine, Pilipinas.